On June the 11th, this cool emission interference pattern showed up on Sentinel-1 synthetic aperture radar data. Sentinel-1 is a satellite that orbits the Earth. It was put up by the European Space Agency, and it uses a technology called synthetic aperture radar. Synthetic aperture radar bounces a signal off the ground and receives it at the satellite, and it turns that information into an image. Here you can see the Mackinac Sound and the bridge near Sault Ste. Marie. All right, this brings us back to the cool emissions pattern noted near Luhansk on June the 11th. We've noticed this pattern before at an air defense early warning radar site near Mayak, Crimea, on the west coast of Crimea. Here you can see a Google Maps image showing the site. You can see two large radomes and several mobile radar systems. All right, let's focus on Luhansk again. We took the raw Sentinel-1 data, processed it using the Sentinel-1 decoder program by Richard Hall. From that data, we can see a visual representation of the emission. And this emission is different than what radar looks like. It appears to be a non-pulsed emission type, which makes us think it is SATCOM versus radar imagery. SATCOM is satellite communications. On June the 11th, we saw the emissions on the Sentinel-1 data. I looked for a satellite imagery in the archive and none existed because this was an unknown site before. I was tipped off on the 15th of June that a planet SkySat image was in the Skywatch archive. We purchased that image, thanks to everyone who bought me a coffee. On the imagery we purchased, we found some pretty cool stuff. Um, we found a smattering of vehicles around a tree line. The vehicles appear to have some sort of vertical object on the back. They really do look like uh, transporter of rector launchers. Um, at first glance, we thought maybe Iskander, but that doesn't make a lot of sense why Iskander M would be in Ukraine. It has a range to hit anywhere in Ukraine from outside of Ukraine. After doing a post on Twitter and asking my followers what they think it might be, I had some pretty good tips that this may be an S300V VM system. I'm not 100% sure on that. S300V is a tracked armored air defense system that's meant to move along with ground forces, providing air defense and tactical ballistic missile defense, as well as a cruise missile defense. It uh, has an absolutely massive missile. It's like 12 meters tall. So it fits the bill as far as the image goes. The resolution just isn't there to make a positive ID of this system. Everything fits S300V. Again, we have to be sure in this game, so more imagery is needed. I really appreciate the support on Buy Me A Coffee. It's made this imagery possible, and it's going to make more imagery possible going forward. Crowdsourcing a 10 centimeter image, a high, super high resolution image of this site is going to cost $750 to $1,000. I think we can get there. It's just going to take some more support. So again, like, subscribe, follow, however you want to help out, by all means. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time.